Hey, what's up, Transformers family? I am the 80s Transformer fan. You are watching George Reviews, and today we have another Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy Transformer, and it is Voyager Class Grapple. Here's this packaging. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Turn to the side. The real clear artwork. Back of the box. Product shot. Side of the box. The image of everybody that's coming in the line and everything. I guess this tells a little bit of the story. I'm going to get Grapple open right now. Slid his tape. And by the way, this is an excellent looking figure on the outside. I hope he's just as excellent on the inside of the box. Let's get him out. And here is Grapple. Nothing further in that box. And what I have in my hand is Grapple. The little back of the packaging, the reverse inserts uh, instructions, which we won't be using. And... Uh, some type of little warning pamphlet, multilingual, multilingual, and a little decoder. Now, most of these figures, the decoder is in like a slip of plastic, but not in this one. And anyway, this little decoder is for the hidden message that's somewhere on this package, which I don't see it immediately. Okay, maybe I'm rushing it. Let me go over it one more time. Yeah, oh well. On to the figure itself. So here's Grapple in the clamshell. And, and wow, I mean, this guy, I mean, he's not tied down. <laughs> I don't see any ties on him, but here's Hoist. Review coming next. Spoiler. And he's tied down, but this guy isn't tied down at all. Man, it makes you wonder if somebody got this and returned it. He's in there pretty tight. And the tape was still, I mean, they can reseal it, but it's in here pretty good. It looks nice and minty. He is out of the packaging. He feels a lot lighter than he looks. Grapple, and he's packaged with a grappling, a claw arm. And one gun, laser rifle, blaster, whatever you want to call it. Move that to the side. Take a look at this guy. He looks fantastic. Never one of my favorite characters, but always one of my favorite toy designs from the G1. Really loved it. And he actually dated back to the, the original G1, dated back to the uh, Diaclone line, Car Robo, Robot. But here is Grapple. Spin him around real quick. Looks very much like the cartoon. Looks very much like the G1 toy. Move him back a little bit. Get them all in. I mean, he looks great. I wish they had did this with the reissue of the G1 toy and gave him the um, the anime orangish helmet head or whatever. Once they reissued it to differentiate differentiate his head from Infernos, and you know they're gonna make Inferno off of this guy. Looks good. Um, I see a little bit of mistakes in the paint, but it's all like on the corner, so I guess that's okay. A little Autobot symbol there. He has translucent um, headlights, which is cool. Probably this this whole thing is probably translucent plastic from the headlights down. I can see because it's like painted, and I can see a slight differences in the oranges. Actually, there's three going on. There's a, a certain orange here, plastic. Then another orange plastic here, and then there's an orange paint there. It's waste. Not a lot of paint apps on him though. Looks good. A lot of molded in detail. And it's in the right places. It looks good. It looks good. A little holes right here. Yeah, I see it detaches. Yeah, he, this thing really looks good. They could have made this gray plastic or hit it with some paint, you know. But I prefer gray plastic, but they should have. And back to the front. Yeah, a little bit of paint mishap right there. But it's just a little bit. It's no big deal. So, just we looked at them on... And go over his articulation 360 his head inside this little bucket thing right there take a look at his eyes they're painted blue and it's like some spacing in between 
where you can kind of see off into the head, which kind of looks weird. Yeah, they could have did a better job, job with that. Silver face. Anyway, hit 360, go to his arm. 360 out of that. Shoulder bend up that high. He has like a joint here. I'm sure this is for transformation, but you can move it out if you wanted to. And it seems like it could snap in better. Like this size, a little bit gap more. Straight out the box. He has a bicep swivel up here. And that will give you a 360. He has an elbow bend right there. And coming down to his hand, it doesn't swivel. But I'm sure because of that hollowed out gap there, it folds away, hinges away. And yeah, you could port things in right there, whether it be his rifle or whatever. I always forget the the millimeter of this peg or whatever, but you can put that in there. Since I was already here doing articulation, I might as well. Coming to his waist, we got a full 360, even with the kibble. Love how that folds up, by the way. And that's cool there. And, and their hips and legs always have a great range of posability on them. Let's see if I can get this guy stand on one leg. And it's always cool when they, they can balance their own weight and the joints are nice and tight. And I don't do this enough in reviews, but I just wanted to um, you know, speak on it in this review because I kind of missed Optimus Prime can hold a lot of poses. But he can hold that pose right there, as you see. Let me shake the table a little bit. And while I'm doing that, he has a thigh swivel right here give him that and then obviously the elbow bend and this is as far as it goes and with his foot we have a rocker you can get him on a nice wide stand and some dynamic poses because you know that's kind of what it's about nice posing right there if you like to photograph your toys and he can do a lot of stuff with that and I kind of jumped into his gun while I was doing this and like I will never have a standard review I just, every review I just wing it I just do it and so I think that's it for his articulation. But yeah, you, you can break this guy down. I didn't try. See if he can stick the landing. See if we can get some Iron Man out of this guy. The arm is kind of short. And yeah, he can sort of kind of do it, stick the landing. And like I say, when I do my um articulation, as of late, I kind of just run through it because my reviews run long, but... He can hold the pose and articulation is only as good as the poses you can get them in. Because a lot of people will review action figures and tell you about all the articulation, but you can't really pose them. Especially like Master of the Universe Classics, like you can't really pose those guys. Not really, not, not like anything like that. So um, moving on back to his gun. Obviously he can hold his gun. He holds it very firmly. I mean very firmly. That thing's not coming out at all. And I don't know if you can double attach the grappling hook. And he has these ports everywhere. He can store it here. And anywhere else. You know, he has the ports. There's one here. There's one here. One here. One here. And you get that. And we could take this little nozzle thing. It's on here on the tab right here. You can take this off of here. And I'm not sure animation-wise which one of his hands is the, the nozzle hand but it will go right here I know it will because I know grapple we're gonna rotate the hollowed out part down so we're not oh man it's <laughs> stuck in there real good there we go rotate it down so it's not an eyesore and yeah you can get that going on and this sweet high just pops back there and stores all right now to move on to grapple's transformation and this little thing is stuck in there very well and since that hand is folded up, fold up this hand right here. Then um, I think I'm going to unhinge these. See if I can pop, pop it. Oh, does it come off? This? Oh, yeah, it comes off. And it is on like a triple, triple hinge joint there, an accordion type thing. And you can see all the translucent plastic in there that I talked about earlier. Take the cherry picker part right here, flip it over. Um, take his leg, do they accordion up? Oh, no. Well, this comes down, this part transforms up and down. I believe they come together. I don't know if they come together right now. Okay, no, they don't peg together. So, fold the cab down. Take the arms, fold these arms back into here. I'm assuming the fists go down so they're not unsightly. Same thing on this side. 
fold his arm back into here. I mean, it's just like the Generation 1 transformation. I, I really don't see anything different except for the, um, the joints that make it easier or make it better. And, um, okay, these little hydraulic things actually tap into these little ports. Just like that. And there's a tab here and a little hole under there. I can get it in there to secure that on both sides. I mean, other than like the little tabbing parts, it's just like the G1 toy. Wait, that's okay. That turns around, swoops around, and I believe this is the completed transformation. And this piece extends right here, obviously, and not right here. It looks like it can stand right there, but it does just this part. Bring the hook down. And I'm going to put this little hose thing back on here. I'm sure it comes with Inferno as well. And voila. Okay, so I guess he's still based on the uh, Mitsubishi Fuso Crane. Fuso, how you say it? crane and man this thing sits low like like I mean it is low to the ground they should have had to where the wheels pop out some and lift him up I mean he looks great I mean he really really does but he is on the freaking ground table stars whatever is going on here he's on it rolls pretty good and underneath this little paper is a, a glass surface so this tire is not getting a lot of traction but still rolls pretty good for what it is um, I'm gonna take a closer look at what's going on in this mode no real paint apps other than the black striping and the other paint app is the cab the cover the translucent blue so you can kind of see um, a orange here and then this joint is a separate orange and then this part is a, it's three oranges going on basically I think I covered that Second ago, um, this rim right here is orange plastic. Now, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to come back here, and this rim here is painted orange. Like, damn, damn. And I know that I guess they're supposed to represent two different types of rims or two stylization rims, but man, if you did it right here, just, just do it again. I, I don't know if it saves money and cost, but man, it's just. Just freaking do it again. That bugs me. This little part right here is painted. It could be painted better. Also with the rims. You can see the black bleed. I can't see it in my monitor, but I see the naked eye. Hopefully it comes across when you watch the video or when I watch it back, which I probably never do. <laughs> and again, the front of the truck, and you can see the paint job here. The Autobot logo. I didn't mention the Autobot logo in robot mode, but it's obviously right there in front of the truck, front of the chest. And I, oddly enough, it's just a straight red. doesn't have a silver or white backing, which is actually kind of cool. And again, the headlights, the bumpers, painted silver. And these little um, stabilization pylon hydraulic things are painted silver. I don't think they're... Um, I don't think they're silver plastic. I think it's just painted. So the only really paint apps is the orange and the black going on. The back of the truck... And man, they could have hit the tail like that. It's a little bit of molding in there for them. But they did not hit it. Oh, that is the truck mode paint apps and articulation in this mode. The crane can go up and down. I wonder how much weight. Probably not that much weight. Probably can't put that much on it. But the joint feels pretty good. The teeth anyway, but whatever it's clicking on is kind of soft. The teeth are uh are nice. But whatever is making it stop. Could be better and again he has the hook which i mean you can't put anything in the hook you would have to like slice it yourself like you might want it to just you know display i'm holding something and you can't because you would have to string something through it i don't know but that, that's kind of odd that they did that and of course it shows you it articulates and it actually locks which i guess it doesn't matter because you can't really put anything in it then he has the claw and you can put the claw arm right here which is a very nice touch you can rotate that thing you can pick up rocks and boulders 
And that's a thing. And if you wanted to, you can put his pistol in here. And I'm sure for Inferno, this would be uh, probably the water cannon or no, oh wait. And hit him, I said, well, some type of cannon. <laughs> Hell, his gun. And you can put the, uh, the little blaster arm thing right here if I can get it in. Damn. And it could be the water cannon or masonry cannon and he's shooting some in or something because he the former constructor con in the storyline now and you can see right here it's, i got a lot of bleed it's not painted well enough to me where the light bars at he could have made the light bars a little bit bigger too but there's some bleed in here and again it's i can't see it on the monitor but i see it with my naked eye but other than being low to the ground this thing looks beautiful it's amazing it's, it's everything i could ask for in an updated grapple it's not a masterpiece and I do not have the Masterpiece Grapple. I never got around to dropping all that money on it. And then when they lowered the prices, like on Big Bad TF, like during the holidays, I was buying other stuff and didn't have it for that. Let's take a look. He has a little bit of molding detail right there that I kind of glossed over. He has a lot of molding detail right there, here, and here. I mean, this is a very, very, very nice toy. I love it already. I really do. Not my favorite character, but I'm loving this toy just like I love the G1. And speaking of the G1, and here is Grapple with his G1 counterpart on the turntable that I'm trying to incorporate in my videos now. Let me know what you think. <laughs> All right, back to how I normally do things. Here's Grapple versus the G1 Grapple. And you can see how they match the color. Damn near perfect. It's amazing. And side by side, you can see where he takes his inspiration. And actually, the G1 sits up taller at the cab. But well, man, I still love this one. And I'm loving this thing. I'm loving what they're doing with Earthrise. Already, Earthrise is the best Transformer line outside Masterpiece Toys in shit, 20 years, man. I promise you, outside the Masterpiece and the G1 reissues, this is the best line. I waited for this forever. Forever, I'm telling you. But okay, you can like I said, you can see where he gets the inspiration. It has the little um, hydraulic stabilizer right there. The hands lay out here. Unlike they they put it where this little silver thing. I don't even know what that is on the real truck or, or this damn toy. The, instead of sitting on the outside, these they tuck away inside, which is brilliant. Closing this gap back here, which is just brilliant. And um, over here, you can see it just has that big old gap. And this one has a little hydraulic thing to help raise the crane up and there's nothing present for that they kind of missed that probably on purpose but everything else they hit the um emergency lights at the top they, they kept that the silver grill they kept that the headlights and on the back they didn't paint this silver or any tail lights right there but it is a faithful very very faithful recreation and it's amazing and i love it and here's grapple next to Earthrise optimus prime on the turntable that i'm still trying to shoehorn into the review Okay, and here's a standard look at these guys side by side. And you can just see it look like somebody just pancake grappled because he's so squat to the ground. All right, and check this out. If not for the grappling hook, grapple, grappling hook, but not for the hook, grapple could damn near go in Optimus Prime's trailer. I mean, there's a little bit of splitting going on because of the little side things, but he can damn near fit into the trailer that's how little he is and the trailer is way undersized hilarious so when i started shooting this video i told myself i wasn't going to parade a lot of guys around but i really think this is necessary um to break out siege hound and show you just how squat this guy is and here is hoist with grapple or grapple with hoist depending on which toy review you're watching right now and yeah i use the same cutaway for both of them Okay, I brought out the Transformers Earthrise Grapple. So you can see these guys side by side. While I love this figure, man, it just didn't translate well size-wise into his vehicle mode. But I guess in real life, we don't have size matter conversion. And this is what you get when it breaks down into the truck. But goodness, maybe they could have made him bigger and had collapsible legs. But then again, if he was bigger, they would have pushed him up. So what is it, leader class figure? It's been 50 bucks instead of being Voyager. But you got <laughs> deluxe class hoist and Voyager class grapple. And wow, 
And I'm not complaining about it because I like this toy, but this <laughs> this is what you get. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna get this guy back into his robot mode. All right. Here is Grapple and Hoist side by side in their robot modes, and they look fantastic together. Here he is next to Autobot Commander Earth Rise Optimus Prime, and they look excellent together. And here he is next to Earth Rise Wheel Jack and Cliff Jumper. And here he is next to the OG Grapple, the vintage Generation 1. This, you can see where he leaps from the toy to the cartoon look at the same time. Turn him sideways, and they got it with a crane. Uh, tucks away a lot better over here, but it's the same thing. You got the two tires, you got the little hydraulic thing, you got the hook. Man, you got these little whatever that thing is right there going on. Yeah, and the crane in the back, side to side, little circle thing going on. And the head and the bucket in the front. The only difference is the cartoon chose to make this head uh, the same color as the rest of his body, which I really like because they differentiated him from Inferno. And we're going to get an Inferno. And I wonder if we're going to get a hauler. We're probably going to get a hauler. It might be some type of exclusive, but I'm pretty sure. And I would get that. I, I like this enough. To keep buying the repaints. And I try to resist the repaints other than the ones like we know. Like Blue Streak and Prowl and Grapple and Inferno. But I would get Hauler just for that color scheme. All right, but here you go. It was robot mode. My only true complaints or gripes about this figure is this one side. You can see where it's flared out a little bit more. It doesn't stay in as well as the other side. I mean, it's not flopping. But when you move it around, this pops loose a lot more than this side. And I guess that's like typical tolerance things, left versus right. And a little bit of paint bleed. Other than that, I really like this figure. Anything else uh, that I complained about, I was pretty much just joking. You know, as that's how I am. But I do like it. And I mean, you can get some serious posability out of this guy with the head articulate. Only thing it doesn't do is look up and down at the head. But anything else it does... And, you know, it has a standard hollowing inside the forearm, which is pretty much there on most of these guys. And, and that's not too bad. And from the back, um, it's cleaned up pretty good. The gaps are filled in. I mean, this is a great, great figure. This line is very nice. Okay, to wrap this toy review up, if you don't realize it or not, I love this toy. Um, he's Voyager class. He's priced at, I believe it's $29.99. And uh, I highly highly recommend this thing he is awesome and like i said he ain't even my favorite character i can't wait to get inferno so thank you for joining me for another episode of george reviews the reviews where every toy has a story